Yeah, all right, what's everyone saying? Welcome back, good morning and all that stuff. Uh, excuse me, just having a nice brew. I've got a bit of a um, slight irritation of the bronchial trachea first thing in the morning. Okay, let's talk Jack Draper, or has he so affectionately been renamed <laughs> Jack Draper? All right, so Jack, and I believe it was Rowan Gregory, uh, went toe-to-toe -to -toe last night in what looked like a, a community centre or a bingo hall. Um, about 40 people there. <laughs> I thought he was ready to fight on the BKFC. I thought he was turning down offers and he would he would hit the big type. Mate, you should seriously consider taking the shadow boxer up now on any um, upcoming fights. I think you two are on the, about the same level. Jack, what can I say, mate? Um, let's, let's start with the positives, shall we? Uh, yeah, you turned up anyway. Yeah, um, it was clearly you was out of shape. Uh, your hands were too low. Uh, your performance was abysmal. Um, you was on the back foot. The other guy showed the aggression. The other guy threw... Basically, all the shots, um, you threw about one punch, then claimed you would broke your hand or you'd hurt your hand. Um, ha absolute hogwash. I mean, you had no trouble lifting the, um, that big fella up, did you, at the end of the fight? Um, I remember, yeah, about 12 years ago, I turned up to a fight. When I was in my prime, I turned up to a fight with a broken leg. And I still won. Can you believe that, people? A broken leg. Yes. And there's this... Now look, let's let's call it like we see it. Um, he got beat from the moment the bell went. Um, he was outclassed. Um, he was out of shape. Jack, look, stop with the KFC. Stop with the Kentucky Fried Chicken and the French fries. Put them down, mate. Get yourself in decent shape. You've been on um, a three to four year training camp. Uh, looking forward to the next ten years, and you've come in looking like that. Too much timber, mate. Too much lard. Too much girth. What can we say? Jesus Christ, um, borderline obese, my friend. Um, you're, you're a big fella, you're a, you're a tall fella. Know that if you connect with a punch, you're gonna hurt someone. But you're too slow. Um, you, you just have no fight skill. You, let's put it this way, that other guy, he made mincemeat of you. You've totally embarrassed yourself yet again. How many, now I think it's, you've had one win and it and about four losses. Four is one win. Jesus Christ. All right, at least you've turned up, you know, unlike our dear friend John Paul, who's another one. He's still in training camp as well. Hey, John Paul, I think you want to get with um, Draper. <laughs> Cut from the same cloth, me thinks. Um, no, I wish I could come on here and say, oh, well done, Jack. You know, that's three years training camp uh, work for you and you've done the business, mate. But sadly, you never. I mean, you... Your training camp is longer than bloody Team Lynch Ward. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, where do we find them? Yeah, so he, me thinks he gave up anyway. Me thinks he was totally outclassed, um, outboxed. Um, he looked slow. He looked sluggish. Um, he looked like he was just waiting for the bar to open, you know, and, uh, you know, get, uh, get the Mackie D's in. And it, it was totally... Totally abysmal, you know, it was perhaps, um, you know, what were you now, um, the end of September, perhaps the worst performance of any Bare Knuckle Fire this year thus far. Anyway, I wish Jack the best of luck in his training camp. <laughs> I look forward to the excuses um, on his channel um, about the broken hand or the dislocated finger or whatever the problem. I mean, he only threw about one bloody punch. That's got to be a bit of bad luck, isn't it? So, ah, uh, he's a quitter, mate. He's a quitter. I can look. Him, Paul Dumbo, Venice, they're just not very active. They do a lot of talking on YouTube. Like, oh, yeah, oh, my mental health. Oh, I'm struggling today. Oh, me recovery. Remember Paul Dumbo, Venice? Just the other day, trying to convince us all that he was having the most wonderful time, the most amazing time, the most fantastic time on holiday. But all he was going on about, rattling on about, was the Shadow Boxer. Paul, you clearly need to fight the Shadow Boxer. Because that's all you bloody go on about, mate. At least Danny Christian of the world. He's a busy fighter. 
He's not a softie. You don't see him coming on YouTube every week feeling sorry for himself. So, oh, the trolls, the trolls, the trolls. <laughs> anyway, best of luck to Jack Draper. Jack Diaper, sorry, in his uh, next 10 year training camp. Jack, a bit of, bit of advice, mate. Lose some weight. Lose some weight. Get on that treadmill. Um, all right, narrative destroyed. Done a little reply, didn't he, to the doctor yesterday. Claiming um, this, that, and the other. Yeah, I've stopped making the paddy, Scott, because I know how it's going to play out. I've already said how it's going to play out. I know where it's going. I've said all. I've just pointed people in the right. No, mate. No, mate. Let's get this right. You got scared. That is the real reason you stopped going on about the GoFundMe and all the donations. You got scared. Once Mr. Magoo put the frighteners on you, telling someone, give him a little clump when you see him, that was it. You know, you was in the car, he doing a number two. <laughs> and um, as for Chris Jericho, is he still around? Jesus Christ, another old codger. Sorry, mate, I haven't watched wrestling in about 20 years. Um, as far as I'm concerned, wrestling was good up until the end of 1999. And then I struggled for a few years, you know, up until about 2003 before. So I only watched wrestling from, say... 85 to 99, I don't follow, Chris Jericho, never rated him much anyway back in the day, he was a, he was a small guy with a big mouth, from what, the last time I see him he looks absolutely terrible with them, I don't know what's happened to his chest mate, but he's got that sunken chest syndrome, um, yeah so basically narrative, you can say what you want but the real facts is you bottled it, you bottled it mate, <laughs> you got the frighteners put on you, and that was it. You don't want to mention uh, Mr. Pants down in a bad light anymore. You know, so won't be, give, it, give it about a week. You'll be begging to go on their lives and uh, you'll be trying to get in their good books. You know what I mean? Just like how um, Craig's doing. Another one. <laughs> and, it, and it video Craig. And it, oh, I'll buy the gas. I'll buy the gas. Don't worry about the gas. I'll buy, I'll buy the gas. You fucking simp. Jesus Christ. Where do we find them? Where do we find them? Now, um... <clears throat> I've got the list here. I don't know whether to read it or not. We'll see how we're doing for time. All right. Um, Romeo and the stupid sniffing sheriff. Now I didn't see this live. I think it happened on the General's channel. I see a few minutes, few minutes of it today on Beezy's. Yeah, go uh, check out Beezy's um, channel. You'll find um, the stupid sheriff versus Romeo. Romeo puts it all over the sheriff. The sheriff clearly again still off his tits from all the. Sniffing, scratching, and you know, and all that. And, and, oh, God, and the swigging that bloody foster. How can someone be that intoxicated on fosters? Jesus Christ. It's like Hofmeister, isn't it? It's like Hofmeister's fosters. Them, them kind of. You know, he's a lightweight. Now I see why he. Look, these guys drink, plus they're on other things if you get mate and yet nobody's nobody bats an eyelid when the doc has a drink about once a month oh doc we're worried about your doc stop drinking doc you know what i mean <laughs> it's laughable this youtube but yeah romeo puts it all over him romeo is a good good guy on youtube he's a breath of fresh air somebody we need on this board and he, I, I say he's the hot only highlight on um the general's channel because to be fair the general's Chat, too much riffraff. Too much riffraff. Bob Fart, uh, even he's got his own channel. I think I heard that Narrative Destroyer turned up on Bob Fart's channel. Well, there you go. That sums up Narrative. And he's, um, that, that's, that's his standards for respect. You know what I mean? So let's not talk about the, the real reasons why you backed out of mentioning anything more about the, uh, the Scotty pants down and sheriff situation shall we not narrative because wink wink you know we know the little secret all right um amy the problem child done a great video highlighting about these sponges these beggars these con men these scammers namely pants down and sheriff um great video i've got to say um i didn't like some of the comments in the um in a um page yeah on her page on her channel yeah on the video yeah I thought that was downright rude, yeah? You can say that to a lady, yeah? I would have blocked half of them. Do you know what I mean? I don't look. So we don't look. When Paddy's cult come over to my channel, and look, they can come up with, they can be constructive, they can criticise, I can take that. But when they start being downright 
you know, rude and, you know, filth starts coming out of their mouth, they get blocked. I got blocked from their channel. The Julie Simp blocked me. You know what I mean? I can't even read Paddy Pants Down's comments now on my main account. You have to go into an alt account. Yeah, they blocked me. They have no trouble blocking anyone else that doesn't go along with that cult. Yeah, in their live chat when Pants Down's rabbiting on about the Masons and the murders and the gang, you know. They have no trouble blocking anyone. So I have no trouble blocking them. Riff Raff, mate. Riff Raff. Don't want them on my page. They're, they're in a cult. They've all been brainwashed. Yeah? All been brainwashed. None of them have got a fucking brain cell between them. They're all simpletons. How can we put it? They're all special needs. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I see a bit of um, Mr. Paddy Pants down. He turned up on Emma Cockerell's live. Well, Brian Cockerell, but Emma's doing it. Because Brian's just trying to go up and down the flights of stairs to maintain his fitness at the moment. So he was like, now listen to me, Emma. Well, I'm going to talk about the Masons. I'm going to talk about the murders. I'm going to talk about the PC plot and all the conspiracies. I'm going to tell you that they're all in a gang. Just give, give more, more money. I need 100 pounds for Scotty. I need William Boots. I need this. I need birdseed, give me the birdseed, give me the whiskey, open the box, open the box, open the box. <laughs> See, up sausage. Jesus. I counted 123 times um, that Mr. Pantsdown mentioned Mason on that live last night. I mean, whoa, that's, that's going some, isn't it? Um, right, should we, um, should we do the list before we end? Should we do the... The, the list one more time, yeah, for those that might have missed it on yesterday's video. This is so far what the, the professional beggars have managed to con out of the vulnerable for Scotty, yeah? Um, and don't forget, Scotty's on between 1,000 to £1,500 a month um, on benefits, yeah? More closer to 1500 methinks. And we can, we know whose pocket that's going in, don't we, Mr. the pants down, yeah? And yet they're still on here begging, shamelessly begging, yeah? So let's start with Scotty's donations thus far. Food, portable toilet, gas regulator, gas stove, slash gas cooker. Two of them, organic absorbent granules, clothes, Six vapes from the stupid sniffing sheriff. Phones. Pots and pans. William boots. iPads. Books. Hundreds of pounds of cash. Gas bottles. Sticky icky. Used hair clippers. AAA batteries. A cash street donation to the stupid sheriff. The sniffing sheriff as he's now formerly nicknamed Rutsack, Towels, nearly £900 go fund me on top of all that cash that they've been given in person. Unbelievable. I'm shameless. Um, right, um, one step drug test. Two blow up dolls. Right, that's um, two blow up dolls. <laughs> right, Mr. Magoo's Modest list thus far from his naive followers in the last um, two, two and a half weeks. Right. Food. Whiskey. Box of Fanta. 24 cans. Guinness. £65 per week. Energy balls. Peanuts. A new beanie hat. Um, a new coat. Rat poison. Dog bones. Gate sign. Cash, more cash, birdseed, repairs and redecoration to the farm, <laughs> slash cottage, slash shit hole, <laughs> salmon shit sign, and mealworm. As you can see, people, they've been doing their uh, doing the rounds on their professional begging. It's absolutely shameless. Oh, my tea's going cold. Um, yeah, absolutely shameless. Um. And yet we've got other simps um, like Video Craig saying, eh, how much is the gas? I'll pay for the gas bottles, don't worry. You know, if it gets me um, some, you know, popularity, you know, gets me views up because my channel's sinking, you know, faster than the Titanic. Um, shameless, absolutely shameless. Um, Sheriff is trying to help someone who has a narcotics, a life 
threatening narcotics problem, yeah, an addiction, i.e. Scotty J, when he has practically a similar one himself. You know, you can't make this shit up. So we got one addict trying to help another addict while the main addict is living in a shed with another addict, you know, who's an alcoholic. Jesus Christ, where do we find them? Where do we find them? Anyway, people, that's all. Um, I'm guessing I'll be back tomorrow. Health over wealth. God bless.